Renee, and welcome back to season four of Simply Fresh Food with Chef Renee. Yippee! I am so glad to be back. Thank you so much for having me back into your home. And this season, we are starting off with food for the soul and from the soul. That's right, we're gonna take a southern escape and we are going to be making fried chicken, collard greens, and stewed corn. Won't you come with me? We're gonna get started with our chicken and our collard greens at the same time. The reason is uh, I like to get my water boiling for the greens and let them, uh, let the water and the seasonings all become one. It's sort of kind of like a soulful thing. And so I've got a pot of water on and uh, depending on the size uh, or the amount of greens you're going to cook, like this is for a large bunch that'll cook down. So what I'm gonna add to that is, I'm gonna add, of course, some salt. And really, the salt does flavor, but it also helps maintain the beautiful color um, and enhance that color. So we got some coarse salt there. I have some sugar here. Uh, this, is, this is a different type of sugar. Uh, it's all natural, zero calorie, but it is super sweet. This is stevia. It's a plant that just happens to be sweet. Zero calories, ladies. And, um, and, it's, and I use it all the time, so I've started using it in my cooking uh, because it just has a lot of health benefits to it. So I'm going to add just a little bit to this. And the reason I'm adding uh, it to the pot is it's green and I'm making collard greens. Get it green, green, green. <laughs> okay. So um, I've got some uh, sweetener in there, stevia. And I have here paprika. This is smoky paprika because I like my greens smoky. Um, so we got that in there. Perfect. And I'm going to save, let's move this over. I'm going to save the red peppers and the garlic for later. Now, I'm going to drizzle some oil. Let's see, let's just use some olive oil. Now, I keep a couple of different oils um, uh, available. So I've got your regular uh, uh, vegetable oil, um, and I've got a little spicy oil here that um, we might use a little bit later. Uh, and then the olive oil. So we've got that on boiling, which is great. That's what we want. So I'm gonna let that get to high temperature. I put the lid on, keep the steam in, and get everything rolling. All right, so we have our chicken here. Now this is a whole chicken that I cut up into eight pieces. I'm gonna cut, cut it down just a little bit farther, and I will show you how I did that. Today, we're gonna to do a quick tip on how to cut up a whole chicken. Cutting up a whole chicken saves time and money. Plus, it gives you the option of serving the chicken whole, roasted, or baked, or you can cut it into pieces. To remove the leg and thigh from the chicken, first, separate the leg and thigh from the breast. There's a natural seam that goes along. Using your knife, make an incision along that seam. Now, you want to lift up that area where the thigh and the leg are and feel in there and find where the bone is. Using your knife, continue cutting along that area. And here, I have exposed that area. See? It breaks easily. Then I'll just finish cutting. Now, to remove the leg from the thigh. Again, there's a natural fatty line. Right here, you want to use your knife and cut it. First, a gentle cut, and then all the way through. Repeat with the other side. Mm -hmm. 
To remove the wing, turn the chicken and then feel with your fingers for the area where the bone and cartilage are. Using your knife, make an incision so that you can see that area. Then use your knife to cut around. Lay your chicken down and make the cut. Repeat this process on the other side. You want to make an incision in the back of the chicken breast. Next, turn it over and using the palm of your hand, apply pressure. And now that you've broken the backbone or the breastbone, finish with your knife. And there you have the breast separated. And that's a quick tip from Chef Renee. Thanks for watching. Now, wasn't that easy? Okay, so we have our chicken here and it's sitting in a buttermilk and salt bath. And uh, it, does, or it doesn't matter whether you have some sort of brine, other kind of brine uh, to sit the chicken in. I'm using buttermilk because I want buttermilk crispy fried chicken. So I'm gonna put that over to the side uh, and I'm gonna get my flour mixture ready. Now we are going to dredge the chicken in the flour and your flour mixture can be whatever it is that you would like. Um, I have here about three cups of uh, all-purpose flour. I have some pepper here. You can use cayenne or anything else. I have here some dried thyme that's been finely ground. And we have here just a little bit of baking powder. And the baking powder uh, is going to allow along with the buttermilk and with the um, uh, other ingredients that we have in there. It's going to allow it to make everything rise just the way it's supposed to, be crispy, crunchy, stay together. So I'm just gonna whisk these around. Now I have some garlic powder here. And got that all mixed up. And, and I want you to know too, that I can actually smell all of these herbs because they've been fine ground um, in the flour, which is great, because that's what we want. All right, and I have here uh, the buttermilk. I'm gonna use my fork to start. You know what, let me put that fork down. I'm gonna use my hands, we're gonna get dirty. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that buttermilk in. And the buttermilk simply is going to help the um, batter to stay on the chicken. All right. And this technique, too, you know, you're always researching and learning how to do things better. And this technique I picked up from some of my research. All right. And I like in mine, I like my chicken to have just this little extra kind of like boost. Now, I have to say this. Never in the South have I seen them put the lemon zest in here, but what we are learning is that lemon offers such a lot of flavor, and so I wanted to add it. Um, and I did add it a few times at home, and it just gives such an extra little step. You know what I mean? It's just really, really delicious. So I'm gonna mix that in here too. Now, if you wanted to add cayenne pepper or something else to it, you just go right ahead. All right, and let's get our tray out. Now, I'm going to pump up my heat just a little more. There we go, because remember, you want that or really, really, really hot. And here is my chicken, let's move that. Here is the chicken. I'm going to open up that bag. I'm folding it down. Now I could have just as easily dumped that into a bowl, but I sort of just left it here, you know. 
All right, there we are. And I'm going to use my hands, both of them. You know, we're taught in culinary school, one hand dry, one hand wet. Okay, both of mine are in here, you know. In the South, it's like, girl, you put your feet into it. No, girl, you put your foot in it. That's how we say it down South. And uh, I'm putting my hands in it. Now, this is a very large breast. So I'm gonna leave that in the bag because I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna take a drumstick. You know, I think that looks more like a hammer, but I'm gonna go ahead and stay with the whole meat industry and call it a drumstick. Um, so there we go. And I'm using, um, my hands also to make sure that the flour, buttermilk flour mixture adheres and stays. So that's another reason I'm using both of them. All right, let's grab ourselves what? I'm just doing all the thighs, right? So we got both thighs here. Yep, that's my husband's favorite part of the meat um, because it's juicy. Yep. And, uh, but I'll tell you this, this recipe, even though we're gonna have this nice crispy crust, the meat is gonna be so tender and juicy. It literally is going to have everything sealed in there. And you see that wing tip that typically gets cut off? Not in my house. I eat it all. In fact, that's one of my most favorite pieces. Um, I like to eat those. I like to just break them off and take my little time and look like a little squirrel or chipmunk going. Okay, so there we are. All right, I think we are ready. All right, so let's put our, let me find my tongues. Here we are. Let's put that chicken in the pan where it belongs. I think I'm gonna use my hands first. There we are. And let's put another piece in. Now, with the pieces such as the thighs and the breasts, I'm gonna put it skin side down. Now, an important thing is, remember I said, put the lid on. Now, we're gonna leave that lid on. I'm gonna check it in about five minutes because it should be nice and brown, but the lid on is gonna keep the steam in there, making the chicken crispy, and then we will turn it over. It also helps make sure that the chicken cooks all the way through. You want the uh, darker pieces, the thigh um, and the leg to get up to maybe about 170 or so. And whenever you're working with chicken, you wanna make sure that your area is nice and clean. I'm gonna get rid of that cutting board. Let me move it and I'm gonna get another cutting board. All right, and this cutting board is green. What do you think I want it for? That's right, because I do it like that. So we got this for, my, for our greens. Now. We have some greens right here already cut up. Wonderful. And I have some greens here to show you how we cut it up. Um, and I'll tell you about all of our little technical terms of chiffonade and all of that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna take my lid off and I am going to put these greens right in there. You say they are not all going to fit. Yes, they are. Okay, so, and my water is nice and hot. All right, so we have that on. I'm gonna put my bowl there. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Now, you can, in the water, you can add, let's say smoked turkey neck, smoked turkey legs, neck bones. You can add whatever kind of seasoning meat that you would like. I'm just going to do one without it. You know, I got the stevia in there, so since I started with that little health theme, Let's stay with that. Although, yes, I am frying chicken. 
All right, so you know, I'm not gonna, uh, I'll show you the proper way. You take your leafy green, I'm gonna take a knife here, and they tell you to cut your stem off and out. You can eat this. So I don't particularly cut these up. I mean, uh, and cut them out and toss them. I'm gonna put it right in that pot. Um, and they're not tough like some, they are tough, but they're not tough like kale. And if you cook your greens long enough or you make sure that your water temperature is high enough, then um, you're gonna be fine. Now, if I roll them like this, and then I cut them very thinly. This is called chiffonade, all right? But I am not going to go through all that with these. these are, this is southern. Child, cut those greens up. So I'm just going to go any which way and get the greens in there, right? Beautiful. Now, let me show you what they look like after they've been in a pot for a while. Let's take that out. Look at that, gorgeous. All right, and I'm just gonna stir it with my green spoon. All right, there we go. And see how they've cooked down? And I know I did not hear anyone say, that's a lot of water. That is no longer water. This is now juice. This is juice, this is veggie juice. All right, so I'm adding it in there and this is why you want your water very, very, very hot. All right, so I'm gonna let that cook down and let me check on our chicken. You are gonna be amazed, watch this. Look at that, look at how gorgeous that is, you see that? <gasps> Who's coming over for dinner? Look at that, just absolutely beautiful. I am going to leave the lid off. So we are going to take a quick break. We will come back and we will finish up with the last of the chicken. We will also take the greens out, saute them, and get started on our stewed corn. It's a southern escape. I'll see you in a little while. Hello, and welcome back for a whole new season of Simply Fresh Food with Chef Renee. We'll be preparing dishes from all around the world, right here in our kitchen. So get ready, get set, and come along with me as we travel the world. Be sure to check your local listings for show times. See you in the kitchen. Welcome back. And we are in the midst of making our Southern Escape. Come along with me. All right, we're gonna add to our pot where we had our greens, which are in the strainer, beautiful. We're gonna add our red pepper. We're gonna add some sprinkling of bacon. Oh, already very aromatic. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm gonna also add some garlic to that. And the reason I'm gonna add the garlic is because I like it. If you don't like it, don't add any, but I like it. So. I'm adding it now because the temperature has dropped just a little bit and I don't want it to crisp up. There we are. There we are. And I'm gonna put my greens back in there. Let's see. There we are. Now, that little bit of green juice that was in the bottom of that bowl, that is not what was in the pot. The rest of it we are saving. So we do have that somewhere. I did not throw away the green juice. Did you hear me, Mom? I did not throw it away. All right, so I'm gonna let this saute up a little bit. Look at that beautiful color. 
fabulous. Let's see. I'm going to add a little bit of that juice back in here, but I want it, those veggies to saute just a little bit. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, and the truth, the truth is whether a southern milk, I am so hot in the kitchen. Do I have flour all over me? I have flour? I had it at the break. Okay, let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. It's just waiting for my hot sauce or my Tabasco. Can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. Mmm. That's really good. Really good, nice and soft. That is really just all finished. So we're just gonna wait on that chicken to be done. What we are going to do is we are going to get prepped. That chicken's gonna be finished. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we will start with the stewed corn, which will only take a few moments, although a stew typically takes longer, but we're gonna speed that up. And then we will be ready to plate and eat. And no self-righteous Southerner would have that kind of meal without some iced tea. So we will be pouring our sweetened iced tea and we'll have a feast in here. I will see you when we return. Hi, I'm Chef Renee of Simply Fresh Food with Chef Renee. And people who know me know that I cook with the freshest ingredients. It's important to use fresh and organic ingredients whenever available. Not only does cooking with fresh ingredients create healthy eating habits, but it also means great tasting food. So join me in shopping locally when you can. Welcome back, and we are finishing up our Southern Escape. Let's get in the kitchen and do it. All right, what I have on the stove is I am browning, or I've already browned some bacon there, and that is great, that's exactly what I want. I'm going to add the corn with the bacon grease in there. Did you hear that? Oh yeah. I'm going to add that and I am going to let that sort of kind of fry. I want to get a nice dark color on it, sort of kind of like it chars. And in the meantime, I am going to, I'm going to take this corn off of the cob. So I like to use just the corn peeler, if you would. And, and I'm going to do this lightly, and then I'm going to do it um, a little bit deeper on the corn. And I'll show you what I mean when I said lightly and then a little deeper. See, that was just a light pull off of the corn there. I'm gonna go down farther. And what I wanna do is I'm double cutting the corn because I wanna cream it. So I, I got my whole kernels over there, and now this one, I'm creating a, there we are. I'm creating, let's do that. Now you're gonna pop corn all over the place. Get it, popcorn? <laughs> okay, we're gonna pop it all over the place. I'm just gonna keep going. So I am just pulling it right off of here. There we are. Now. You know I don't throw away things. These I'm going to throw away today because I'm not near a farm. If I was near a farm, I would save them for the farm or for the animals, but I'm not near a farm. So let's take a look at our corn. All right. Okay, there's some of the color. I'm going to add our other corn to it. Let me. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it lovely? There we go. Look at that, look at that color. Just beautiful. That is why I like the whole kernels, and then I sort of kind of like to double up 
on cutting it off of the cob. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to add my salt and my pepper, and I am going to add a little sugar. So let's do that. All right. There is some salt and here is our pepper. It's not as loud as the salt, but definitely it's tasty. Woo! Love it. All right, and I am now going to add the milk first or the cream. Look at that. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Fantastic. Now, I'm gonna let that sit for just a minute. All right, I have my flour, and we're gonna just whisk that in some water. You know, and my slurry would, you know, be a little bit thicker, but hey, this is perfect. And this is going to thicken it up, even more so. That's why it's called a stew. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. Now, what we do is we just put the lid on, turn it on low, and let her go. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to take a little break, and when we come back, we will finish up with our Southern Escape with the final test. I get to eat it. Yes, and drink my sweet tea. I'll see you in just a few minutes. <laughs> Check out Simply Fresh Food with Chef Renee to learn new delicious recipes. Watch as I show you how to use fresh ingredients for healthy eating at every meal. Check your local listings for showtimes. Welcome back, and I am getting myself all set up for the best part, eating. There is my southern tea right there. Yes, it is with some lemon. All right, let's plate this and eat. I can't wait. And there, look at that beautiful southern meal. And I get to eat it. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Did you hear that crunch? Mm. I want to thank all of my sponsors. I want to thank you for having me into your home. And I will see you on the next episode. Tune in to us at Simply Fresh Food with Chef Renee. Or you can watch any episode at wintv.org. Or check us out on Simply Fresh Food with Chef Renee.com. Now I got to dig into my greens. Mmm. Simply Fresh Foods with Chef Renee is sponsored by Red Tail Heart and Bullwrap Cookware. Oh.